All right, let's look at question four. A program inspiring people of all ages and gender, genders usually ends with a fashion show. Annex should be, as soon as you see that, you can find your annex should be. My annex should be is over here, right? Um, shows the layout of the runways and the seating arrangements at the fashion show. Next to the floor runway are single, seated, single seats arranged in rows. Each round table next to the raised runway can seat a maximum of 10 adults. Each of the runways is four feet wide. Okay, so we, we, we know that there's going to be conversions in this question. Okay, it's just no way there's not going to be because we have meters and we have feet. So we're going to have to do some things. Okay, here's the layout. There's my tables. There's a raised one runway. There is um, the floor runway. These are seats. Okay, it's all happening. So we're going to just take this one step at a time. Okay, use the information above um, and an extra B to answer the questions that follow. 4.1.1. Right, in simplified form, the ratio of the width to the length of the raised runway. Okay, so it told me that the runway is four meters wide, both of them. And this raised runway, raised runway, you'll say that fast five times, is 24. This little thing there means feet, okay? Because look there, it says 54, think means 54 feet. So 24 apostrophe means 24 feet. So it says my width, so my width I know is four, my length I know is 24, and it says write in simplified form. Okay, so we're going to start on a new page. We're going to be here, question four. So question four, 4.1.1. So we have four to 24, okay? Um, simplified form, you generally want to try and make this side equal one. Thankfully, um, we can see that both sides are divisible by four. You should be able to see that 24 can, is divisible by four, meaning that four can go into it with no remainder. So I'm going to divide this side by four, divide the side by four, and it becomes one, two. If you don't know what 24 divided by four is, you can pop it in your calculator, but it equals six. Okay, and that is our answer done for that question. Okay, not a difficult one. The biggest thing is just learning how to access information and put it together. Let's continue. Convert the length of the floor runway to meters. So just the length. Okay. So we know that one meter equals three comma two eight eight zero eight four, which means that there's more feet in a meter. Okay. So we know that the floor runway, let's just get our annex here. The floor runway is 54 feet. So we have 54 feet and we know that we have to um, divide it because we know that there's going to be fewer meters than feet because feet fit into meters. So you're going to say 54 divided by 3, 2, 8, 3, 2, 8, 0, 8, 4. I'm going to put that into our calculator. 3, 2, make sure you type this in correctly, 8, 0, 8, 4. Okay, and that is 16, comma. Four, five, nine, one, da, 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 da. Okay, generally we round off to two decimal places. If it's two decimal places, we look at the third one. Nine is above five, so it's equivalent to 16,46 meters. Okay, that makes sense. We have fewer meters than feet because feet are shorter than meters. We're happy with that. Okay, let's continue. Give a possible reason for each of the following. Okay, so these are going to be like written answers now. So, give a reason for each of the following. Why the second and third seats are not arranged exactly behind the front row seats that are closest to the floor runway. Okay, so there's a floor runway. Here are the seats. Okay, but do you see that they're not exactly behind each other? Okay, and if you've ever been to a show, you know why that's the case. It's because... You want a clear view of the models, okay? So it's to give everyone a clear view of the models. So let's write that as our answer. Give all seated guests a clear view of the models, or you can say the runway, either way, okay? It's kind of just wanting you to interpret what's there. Use your common sense. Why is there a gap between the two runways? Well, 
the one runway is raised and the other one is not, right? So it makes sense to have a gap. So you can say the gap is there because there's a difference in height, maybe there's a step. It also means that it's easy to walk around, right? So I'm just going to say a passage where people can pass through, right? You can just say it's a passage where people can pass through. But there's lots of other things you can say. A passage um, for people to pass through. Ooh, my spelling sometimes. Okay, that's not too difficult, so let's keep going. Okay, now we get into a little bit of a meteor section, right? Look at the mark allocations, and we're probably going to be working with some numbers. The diameter of a round table is 1,8288 meters, okay? Meters. You may use the following formula in the questions that follow, okay? Very importantly, they've given you the value of pi, okay? So don't just use pi in your calculator. Use what they've given you. Calculate the area of the top of one round table. Okay, so the area is 3,42 times by the radius. Now, what is the relationship between a radius and a diameter? Well, a diameter is 2 of the radius. So to get a radius, we need to divide that by 2. So... First thing we do is we work on our radius. Radius equals 1, 8, 2, 2, 2, 8. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird noise. Divided by 2. 1, 8288 8, divided by 2. 0, 9144. Okay, so that's and in meters. That's my radius. Okay, we're in a great space. So the area of the top of one of these circles is going to be 3, 142, which is using our formula here, times the radius squared. Now, don't forget that squared. Students often forget that, and then their answer is wrong. So be careful. Okay. 3, 142 times 0 0.9144 squared. Remember, squared just means times by 2. So if you don't have this on your calculator, you literally just do this. Okay, so you have that. My answer is 2,62 um, uh, 7112165. Round it off. And remember, this is meters squared. Round it off. You can round it off to 2,63 meters squared. Okay, remember, I said generally round off to two decimal places. Look, when we're rounding off two decimal places, we look at the third one. Seven is above five. And so we round up. Okay, and we are done there. That wasn't too bad. Okay, that was the area. They only asked for one, so we don't have to times it by anything. They just asked for one. Let's read the next question. Each person occupies an equal length of the outer edge around the round table. Determine the maximum length allocated to each person seated around the table. Now, we're not talking about area. We're talking about a circumference, right? We're talking about this is the distance around the table, and what portion of that are we giving to each person? So there's a little person in each of these, okay? So let's start by working out the circumference of the circle, okay, of each of these round tables. It's pretty easy, but given the diameter, so we just say circumference equals 3, 142 times by my diameter. We literally don't have to do anything there, right? We don't have to square it. We put it in, easy peasy. 3, 142 times 1, 8, 2, ooh, 2, 8, 8. And that is 5,74,60,896 meters. Okay, it's not squared because it's not circumference, right? It's just a distance. Now, interestingly, how many people can sit at each table? It said 10 adults at each round table. So you have to go back to your information. So if it's 10, we say, well, this is the total length around the circle. So 5,74, that's the length, the distance around the circle. If I was walking around it, I would walk around and I would walk 5,74, etc. meters. So now I have to say that. But now I have to divide it by 10 because there's 10 people. So they get a portion of this, right? So divide it by 10. And each person gets a maximum of this, okay? Meters. Now, it's a little bit messy. Let's round it off to two decimal places. So each of them get that, okay? Be careful there. You need to um, round up to two decimal places. Um, two decimal places, look at the third decimal place. 
that's below five, so we round down. So each person can get that much space. Okay, this is quite an involved question, but not too difficult. Let's move on to the second part of question.